Hi, it's Natalie Zangon, also known as Mother Goose. So it's been a while that I've wanted to do this video, but I just didn't get the chance. Um, I wanted to do this video and call it Intimacy, Torah, and Woman. What does the Torah and Jewish philosophy teach us about the concept of intimacy, sexuality, the role of the woman, and what we learn from the Torah about that factor. Many times when husbands and wives get married and, you know, like especially after they have kids, one of the main complaints that you uh, usually hear as a therapist, as a psychologist, that, you know, the men come and say, like, my wife is just not into being intimate. Like, she's always so tired and she, things are just not the way it was. And um, when you talk to the woman, she tells you that, I, it's just the last thing on my mind. And like, I, there's so many other responsibilities that I have. So um, you sit down and you wonder, what does the Torah and the Old Testament teach us about that angle and that part of the relationship? So if you go back and you get the book of Breshit, the book of Genesis, and about the days of creation, when God created the heaven and the earth and this and that, and then they created Adam and uh, there's different explanation and we learn from that that originally, you know, we learned that Adam was one being, you know, a, a man and woman were in one body. And then there's a part that God comes and has Adam name all the mammals and all the kingdom. And Adam says, I still haven't found anyone that's compatible to me. So God tells Adam, it's not good for you to be alone. So lesson number one, the man has to get to a point of really understanding and being in a place that, hey, it's really not good for me to be alone right then you do the dating and you find a marriage partner which is the as a connecto the helper that at times is the opposite of you but listen to this beautiful message when god separates them and adam wakes up from this procedure he turns around and looks at chava the first female that ever comes into existence that was taken from the side of adam the first saying he says to her in the book of Breshit, says, flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. This I shall call Chava because it was taken from me. That it was part of me. Look at that poetic statement that like Adam says to the first being female that was ever created. Like women were into this like romantic way of being talked to ever since the beginning of creation. That sense of you are me you are part of me you are from me so the power of word that it has on woman right then we go on then we learn about chava being pregnant so how did she get pregnant it says adam yidia he knew his wife adam knew his wife knew i looked through the whole torah i looked through the whole book uh, you know, five books of moshe and i'm like what the word sexuality is yidia new so you read the Rashi and the explanation that says when you genuinely want to have intimacy and have relationship with your partner, um, humans are different than animals. Humans have the ability of what? Knowledge, communication, conversation, looking, speaking, knowing, understanding. If you want to truly have intimacy with your wife, what do you have to do? You have to know her. You have to get to a point that she feels known by you, that she feels understood by you, that she feels that you get her, you understand her. This is the way where she is going to feel connected to you. And another thing that we have to understand is when God cursed Adam and Chava, the curse of Adam was that forever he has to like, at the sweat of his forehead, he's going to provide for his wife. So that anxiety and their nervousness of providing financially. And her curse was that you're always going to yearn to feel belong to your husband. So how is a woman going to feel attracted and drawn and like sensually connected to her husband is when she feels that she belongs to him. And how does she feel that she belongs to him? By knowing, by the way he uses his words, by the way he speaks to her, by the way he makes her feel. Like, it's so powerful. All these romantic words of connecting to a woman is right there in the Old Testament. Be wise on how you connect to your wife. It's right there. You want her to feel 
connected to her, use your words, tell her, speak to her, make her feel like you understand her. That is the key of true intimacy, according to Torah. Thank you so much for watching. This is Natalie Seinfeld.